Two police officers sworn to serve and protect drive away from violent car crashes. They both witness and all of this is caught on camera and this 19 investigates exclusive. Brian Duffy has the new video you'll see here on just one station. This is something else, not something you would expect from law enforcement. Nikki, both of those crashes happened in the city of Cleveland, but the officers who gave chase worked for East Cleveland PD. One of them now off the job and under criminal investigation for his actions, while the other never disciplined. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. That's former East Cleveland Police Commander Larry McDonald laughing, then leaving the scene of an accident back in March. McDonald now faces criminal charges for failing to stop and trying to cover up his pursuit across the border into Cleveland. A short chase that ended in a bad crash near East 152nd in St. Clair. It all started out from a freaky jail. 19 Investigates got McDonald's body camera video from that night. It shows the now former commander leaving the crash scene, cranking up his music and heading straight to a bar still on duty having sexual conversations with women in his cruiser outside. He tells a supervisor he never saw the crash. You wasn't behind a car on alcohol, was you? Yeah, why, what happened? Uh, they crashed at St. Clair. No, I wasn't behind, I turned around. Uh, okay, the passerby said that the car almost ran them off the road, watched them crash and turned around. He was called over here. No, I wasn't in pursuit of that car. 19 investigates found this wasn't the first time an East Cleveland police officer failed to stop after witnessing a bad crash. Last October, another East Cleveland police pursuit crossed over into Cleveland. Records show one officer stopped chasing due to unsafe speeds and traffic conditions. But Officer Rayvon Wiggins continued the pursuit down Superior until the suspect car, flagged as being stolen, crashed near East 79th. Looking down the street, I can see some lights flashing. I believe that vehicle may have crashed. I'm going to go check. Except he didn't. Surveillance video shows Officer Wiggins turn off his emergency lights as he approaches the crash scene, where three people were critically injured. Instead of stopping to help, the officer makes a U-turn and drives back to East Cleveland. The department says he was doing just what then-Commander Larry McDonald ordered him to do. If you're not in pursuit of that vehicle, terminate and return back to the city. In his report, Wiggins said before making the U-turn, he believed the vehicle may have crashed and caused injuries. Records show he wasn't disciplined for failing to stop because investigators determined he was following McDonald's directive. McDonald would later make reference to the incident when questioned about his own pursuit that ended in a crash. And I came down and turned around. I didn't do the Wiggins. No. Now, Wiggins did receive a one-day suspension for failing to activate his body camera during that pursuit. But again, no punishment for leaving the crash scene. Unlike McDonald, Wiggins has not been criminally charged. Nikki.